Okay, so I've been waiting to do this for a while. I have recently got into podcasting and editing audio in Adobe Edition. This is all you're gonna need to know on how to edit simple podcasts. And it's actually gonna be super cool and it's gonna be mostly beneficial for you if you do pick up the MX Master 3. So if you don't have that already, this video is not gonna to be too useful for you, but you can figure out how amazing this mouse can be for any application that you own. This is the new Logitech Options Plus. Right now it's in beta but it's going to be the same functionality using keyboard shortcuts to make your life easier on Adobe Edition. I added my application, which was Adobe Edition, which is up here. Okay, so these are the gestures I use and the keyboard shortcuts I use in Adobe Edition to have a nice workflow. So I will click gestures here and my click is a keyboard shortcut, which is V. So we'll go into Edition here and see what that is. So if I select V on my keyboard, it will turn it back to the selector tool. So you can see the pointer on here. So if I change it to something else, let's go to a razor tool here. You can see the razor tool. If I select, just click the button, it's gonna change. So the razor tool's on, I could have selected V on my keyboard, but instead I just press this button and it changed. The next one that I do is delete, which is clicking this button and swiping down. I will highlight a certain section. If I want multiple ones, I'll press control and select both of them. And I will click the button up here and I'll click it and then I will swipe down and that audio file is now gone. Super helpful because I need to delete a lot of stuff when I'm editing a podcast. So there's two ways I can do this. If we go into this audio here, the most important thing is going through this audio and editing it and slicing it up. So I could have selected my razor tool here and I could just pick a few spots that I like and then I could I could cut it, but you can see that here. I can cut it, move on, but I don't like it really that much because like it stays on there and then I forget that the razor tool's there and then I have to select V or select this button to get back into it. So what I really think is beneficial is this following shortcut, Control, Alt, Shift, and K. So now what this does is it will cut everything that is down on a multi-track by pressing this button and swiping up. So you can see there, when I did that, when I swiped up, everything got cut in a line. So if I have three rows and I need to cut everything, all three of those audio files got cut at the same time. Super helpful and I love it. So Control, Alt, Shift, K, which is select all clips under Playhead. So that is what I use, super beneficial. I had to create this shortcut in Keyboard Preferences. What it does is it selects everything from my Playhead to the right. When I'm editing and let's say I need to cut this audio here, I delete that, but now I need to drag these files all the way to the left to be in sync so I don't have a lot of silence, but I have all this other audio file that I don't wanna mess with, I don't wanna play with it all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this button and I'm going to swipe right. And when I swipe right, everything is going to get selected, which is huge. So you can see everything gets selected and then I can move it and be done with it. So I'll just show you what I did. I found an opening on my keyboard, so I found this spot here. And then after I searched for select clips till end of session, I went and I dragged it over here, and then me pressing shift and then selecting this button, whatever button that you set for yourself, then you're good to go. So that is my shortcut, shift, and then the comma. So that shortcut now is onto my mouse. So now I can do everything on my mouse. When I'm going through here, I can select everything. I can edit, listen to audio for a little bit. I can cut there, I can delete that. I can drag everything over. And this is all just done on my mouse. So I'm highlighting a few things, I'm deleting it, I'm dragging everything over to make sure that it lines up properly, and I can just keep editing my audio properly, which is super fast. Like, I'm doing everything on my mouse, and I know that I'm not going to be messing up my audio. So this has been kind of what I use for Adobe Edition with this mouse. It has changed how I edit, it's made it super efficient. I hope this video helped you use the MX Master 3 in Adobe Edition. If you need some more tips with some more shortcuts, I'm sure to be learning more as well and I'll be adding them to other buttons on this mouse. But for yourself, if you find anything cool, you have so many extra buttons you can customize for Adobe Edition. Let me know what you use and I would be sure to 
make my workflow more efficient with your help. So I wanted to help you out just like I would my brother. I have a ton of other videos about the MX Master 3. If you wanna go check them out and I have a playlist, I wanna help you out just like I would my brother. See you in the next video.